So, ha, 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 look at this, we're here. On time, even. Okay. Um, if you tuned in yesterday, I was working on this yesterday. Uh, if you tuned in yesterday, you also saw that I spent almost the entire time <laughs> fixing it. Or at least far too long. So, uh, we're back. Um, normally, I would have finished that section um, to the ending of the video and then gone and, in theory, finished it um, through the section last night and then uh, hold on. Here we go. And then <laughs> I would have uh, taken pictures this morning and then I would be on another section. That is not what happened. In fact, in fact, um, I did not finish the section last night because I spent so much time doing the fixing, which is fine. It's, it's really not a big deal. Um, but it does mean, right, that I will be working on that same section now, which is again, perfectly fine. I'm trying to embrace the slow, the creative life, um, where I, I don't like aim to I guess, operate like a machine, but it's hard because I do in fact want to get stuff done sooner than later. So here we are. Um, that said, um, I do intend on finishing this section no more than six rounds. Um, that should not be a problem for me to take an hour to do because that's usually what I get done. I really want this to be done because I really want to send it off in the mail. I was watching Titan AE. I, for some reason, got it confused with, uh, was it Treasure Planet? And I was like, oh, I want to watch this. And it was like, it's starting now and it's going to end at 8 o'clock. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm not going to stream till 8 o'clock. And then I realized, no, 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 you're thinking of a completely different movie. That's not right. And I'm like, oh. So I was watching a little bit of it, of it um, until I came over here. And I found, to be completely honest with you, that I was not super interested in watching it. So that is Titan AE. Like, eh, eh. So that's just as well because that means I'm here on time. Doggo is making lots of noise though. Um, so. Yeah, so the really bad thing is when I finished the, <laughs> the stream yesterday, I realized I had no idea how many um, rounds I had actually done. Like, I, I was thinking it was four, but I realized when I gave that thought, and I'm like, yeah, but do you know it's four? And I'm like, I don't. <laughs> and I don't know because I didn't do a really good job of, like, making my little hatch marks. To say this is where you are. Um, and so I'm like, well, you're going to have to watch the video and figure out how many you did. If that was in fact the correct amount, by the way. Um, but it was, it was, Oh my 
gosh. Sorry about that. I don't know how that happened. Apparently I can switch views. I know. That's weird. That is super weird. Now we know we've learned something. <laughs> that was my ceiling. You're welcome. I guess. I don't know. Thank goodness it was the ceiling and not something awful. I don't really... Okay, I don't have anything awful in my apartment. Um, but, I don't know. Wouldn't quote me on that. I have no idea. So, this is what? This is Wednesday. So, this means this is the third day with this new schedule. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't come up with the schedule until... I don't think I did this Sunday. I don't know, though. I really don't. But, um, anyway. Yeah, this, this new schedule is... It's kind of killing me, to be honest. Um, but it is dedicated time to get some very specific things done and I cannot complain about that I mean I can uh, now this week has kind of been a bit of a wash um, as far as getting things done because it's um, I've been spending most of like time that's actually intended to be like work time for something else um, getting prepped. So like I've been going through my to-do list and putting in Trello so I could prioritize it with, uh, Eisenhower and Matrix, which I mentioned yesterday, you know, the important, not important, urgent, not urgent, and the little, uh, freaking Gregor Mendel little cross section of it, which look, if you, if you get that reference, like without looking it up, good on you. Awesome. But if, I mean, if you don't, you know, apparently you, you don't biology and that's fine. Uh, but yeah. So here we are. Now I will say, uh, there were some, uh, funny one-liners from I can't think of what the character's name is now. Um, big alien with like a giant metal piece on its skull. But that character had some great one-liners. I was like, oh no, these are funny. So. Here we are. Here we are. I have a headache. Um, yay. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I haven't had enough caffeine. My green tea is not actually gone. Um, it's out of reach though. And my, I haven't had my latte. And it's, I should have had my latte like two hours ago. So far, I've been doing pretty good with the whole post-it Armageddon, um, that reminds me, I should watch the rest of the loss of pastor. I keep forgetting that I have to watch that. Like I started it and I need to just hurry up and finish it. Oh no. Oh, gravy. Okay. Okay, um, hmm, All right, it seems that we have, uh, here we go, here we go, already, already having to fix something. Okay, so... That goes there. 
Oh, no, that one goes there. Okay, so it's this one then. Okay, so it's this one. And it's that one. Okay, so another hook. Okay, so we can fix this. It means that these are not right. And this is supposed to be the one that's there. All right, see, that looks better. <sighs> um, anyway. So. Tomorrow is extended project time. I don't know how that's going to work. I just give y'all a heads up. Um, I haven't been going to knit night for one reason or another. And that's why my project time starts so late on Thursdays. And that's because... I'm elsewhere. Now the thing with it is, is technically I am, I'm completing project time, right? Um, during those times, but I'm out and about in the public. I'm in the wild where I can't record. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm not going to. Anyway, as a result, it means then I'm not here to stream. Like the only way for me to like justify streaming while I was out would be if I could do it and like be muted the whole time. Like stream with no sound. Um. So that's a thing. And it's not a thing, like, no, that's not what we're doing. Which means I won't be here until nine tomorrow. Now, because I haven't been attending at night because I don't feel well, it's pain, I'm just tired. Um, I'm trying to conserve gas because, oh dear God, the price of gas right now is painful. Um, you know, those things happen. <laughs> um, I may not go again. Now, I'm probably not going to show up here earlier though, because I want to stick to the schedule that I've set, which means if I say I wasn't going to be here until nine, then I'm not going to be here till nine, even if I'm technically available. Um, and I'm just going to use that time to, you know, do other things. That's it. So, 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 it's fine. And I'm okay with this. That's, that's perfectly acceptable to me. As a reality. Oh my gosh. Speaking of reality, rather not reality, right? Because, 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 um, it occurred to me that I haven't been doing any reading in Cressley Cole series and Cressley just finally, um, published Monroe, which we have all been waiting for most people more than I have, because I came to the series a lot later than a lot of people. Who are diehard Cressley fans. And I realized actually this morning, I was like, you know, you are in dark sky right now. And I'm like, I am I'm like, you don't even know what's going on with Monroe. And I'm like, I do not. <laughs> it's like, you need to hurry up. And I'm like, I do. Um, I've been, I've been reading so many other books though. So thanks to book talk, 
um, I found myself uh, getting into some mafia dark romance. And I gotta tell you, does not I'm not upset about this development. Um, and then because of, I think, Kindle Unlimited, I have ventured into a new author who... She has a bunch of books, but there's only, like, one series of hers I've been reading. Like, I... You know, she, they do snippets and crossovers from their other series, like, in the back of books and stuff. But I gotta be, I gotta be honest with you, I haven't, like, wanted to read the other ones. Um, one of them I did read, and I was like, I'm not, this is, this is too harm rock movie, like, for even me. And I'm like, I can't, <laughs> I can't do this. Like, I finished it, because it wasn't bad, it was just, I don't ever need to read that again. Um, that sounds like I'm saying it's bad, it wasn't bad. Like, it was just not, it was not to my, t my taste, my personal taste, which is, Look, there's no accounting for taste, so that's not really saying anything. Um, but it just, it wasn't. And so, like, would I recommend that book to somebody? Probably not. Unless they were like, I love Hallmark movies and unrealistic romances that literally just are so far-fetched. <sighs> um... Like, even if this, even if this situation could happen, it's just like, what? No. And look, I'm not saying, I am not saying that her bad Chicago bosses isn't also that ridiculous, but given the storyline she puts out with those situations, those are plausible situations. Like, it totally could work out that way. Whereas these other ones is like, I don't know about that. And then I'm waiting for Joyce, who this is for, um, to release the next book in the, it's like the Wolves of Promise Falls. Um, it's got Stark in it. And I want to know what's going on because he is such an asinine character. But you get little Easter eggs. Um, little things that like a character notices and then like comments on or like internally thinks about right so it's in the internal monologue um, that makes you go oh huh okay this this right here what we're saying this this could be what's going on or <laughs> there could be more to this and, like, just little things that, like, you know, at the end you start to put together, like, oh, this is totally not what I thought it was. All right. Um, but maybe, like, the first go round or initially, you know, it totally looks a certain way, right? Um, so. Yeah. I absolutely, like, need to know what is up with and I guess to me that means that the writing is good like for me um if you mention something and I'm like first of all that character needs a book second of all I need to read it right now you've got me you've got me hooked and I think that's the mark of like that's some good writing right there right so um, now I've got Elliot Moss's slip playing in my head. So about that, um, I was supposed to do a bunch of work and I think I did some of the work that I was supposed to do last night, but I got to the point where my brain started to turn into sludge, right? Um, like I think relatively early and I gotta tell you, I don't know that it's looking good for tonight. Um, because... I've got a headache now and I do not know how like long past this stream I'm going to be able to last because I cannot deal with having a headache. It is the worst. So I 
anyway, I was, uh, I just, I was going to lay down or whatever. And then like, I got this idea to do something and I was like, you know what? Sure. Why not? And I'm like, okay, we'll sit in bed and do this. And I'm like, yeah, but the lighting's not good. And your camera stand is over on your desk. I'm like, it is. I'm like, we'll just get up and do it at the desk real quick. And that turned into me making a reel on Instagram. And then what is it four videos that were just like the reel on TikTok, And then another video right after that, kind of explaining the weird tangent I went on. Um, usually when I make content for TikTok, I do not like mass posts, but I absolutely did that, um, last night because I couldn't wait. <laughs> I wanted to, like all the videos were connected. And so I wanted to go ahead and just post them all. Like I could have recorded them all and then posted them later, but I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. I want to just do all of it right now <laughs> because I'm like that. Uh, so instead I did that and it was all me doing a little bit of shuttle tatting and the sound was slips there was slip by Elliot Moss, which I found because of TikTok. So awesome sauce. But, um, it felt kind of like the right song because there is a sliding through, you know, your hands and your fingers and your grip, uh, when you're doing right, uh, fiber, uh, art like this. And that's cool. I think you could totally do something. Uh, I could, I think this could work also like this particular piece. So, um, uh, isn't it great that I'm on time? <laughs> now I'm thinking um, that because I've been pretty good this week about showing up that I absolutely, <laughs> um, should put up the next segment of my schedule. Now the thing with it is, is I think I can do all the Sundays and do this. Um, and that might be the next day I put up Saturdays is going to be tricky. I'm not going to be able to do every Saturday because, um, I have the wee bit every other Saturday and yeah. That means there would be tiny human in the background and I don't want extra sound. Um, so I'm like expecting a tiny human to be able to, especially when it's chatty as mine, to, to be silent for like an hour or so. is a little unfair. Um, so, uh, yeah, but every Saturday, every Sunday, I know I can do this. So Sunday might be the next time I put up a schedule for it. Like ideally I'd like to, I'd like to put up all the days. But I have to figure out Friday and Saturday because every other Friday and Saturday is not going to work. Um, and I don't know the limitations of how the schedule works. <sighs> um, as far as like what their the options are. 
because I don't want to have to manually add something on the like every other because that sounds annoying and I could absolutely put a schedule up like ahead of time for like the entire quarter right but I would need to do something like that where I put up the schedule for like an extended period of time at once um, So that's like the only way that makes sense to me as like viable. Um, but then that means I have to keep coming back and that is rrr, little girl arg. Got the stepsister's lament from, was it, I think, Roger and Hammerstein's um, Cinderella, the one where Brandy um, plays Cinderella. And it had Victor Garber, um, Whoopi Goldberg, Whitney Houston, I think it was. Yeah, I think. Uh, it was great. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I am such a dork. I don't even like musicals, but I did like, um, I did like that one. And I like Brandy, so. Speaking of Cinderella adaptations, Ever After was on, and I did think about putting that on and muting it because I love that. And then I was like, you know, you're not going to watch it, right? Because you're going to be too busy working. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> it's like, so you just shouldn't put it on. I'm like, I shouldn't. But now I low key want to watch it. And then the actual the newest Cinderella adaptation is on Stars, I think. Yeah, I think it's on Stars. Somewhere on TV. In my garage space. Oh my goodness. I went on a TikTok kick. A uh, uh, big surprise. And I was watching a bunch of uh, Queen Australia um, videos. And 
that was fun. I apparently had missed a bunch and did not realize it. Watched one of her tiara unboxings. Um, so that was fun. And then found out that apparently a fantasy photographer and a uh, dress designer who like makes um, like these gorgeous dresses, like basically like royalty reproductions or like royal something royal garb, right? Not necessarily reproduction specifically, but something a queen would wear and made one that looked like starlight and oh my gosh freaking fabulous like the textile artist in me is just googly eyed over it And then I saw the pictures and they just, they're, they're phenomenal. And then I had some, wow, <laughs> I wish I could do that. Like not specifically that, but like, you know, have like these awesome projects that I was doing that like involved other people and, you know notoriety and all that like to a degree you know not not like huge amounts okay really um just you know enough and look only because i feel like a nobody like look i'm sitting here i'm talking to you i don't know who you are right um you know you don't know who I am. <laughs> no pigs. But, um, you know, I'm just, for me, I'm just some rando on the internet. That's it. That's just, that's it. That's all I am. Like, I've been making content for a good long while, right? I have been, like, creating, really working artists, you know, for um, over 10 years now like officially. Um, and I still really, I'm still really honestly feel like a nobody. Um, and that sucks. I mean, you know, whatever, I guess. Um, but you know, <sighs> I don't know where I thought I would be. I just feel like for as long as I've been doing this, like, I feel like I should be farther. Like that's, this really palpable feeling. I feel like there's probably a, there's a probably an, a word for that. Like the feeling that you should have accomplished more by this point in your life. <laughs> yeah. That might also be like the feeling of like millennials everywhere. Um, the irony of that. I'm trying to make this so that you can see what I'm doing, but like holding the project at this angle is a little awkward. <sighs> this headache is like not quitting. I do not know that it is realistic for me to think that I'm going to do anything when I do this. I might be using up all of my energy right now, which is fine. I plan to be here. And so here I am. But oh, let me tell you, I always think I'm going to get so much more done. And then I get home and I get settled. And I'm just like, what were you thinking? And I'm like, you know what? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But obviously it wasn't this through. 
Um, Cause then I get home and it's totally reasonable for me to be tired. I work a really laborious job. Um, I'm on my feet. I'm lifting heavy objects. <laughs> it's like, solidly physically exerting myself over the course of eight hours. It's not weird for me to come home and be beat. That's that sounds about right. <laughs> But I still I have stuff I want to do, and I don't want to just I don't want to just exist, right? I don't want to just go to the day job because that's what I got to do right now. Um, and I don't want to have like that be like the gist of what I do, right? Like I don't I don't want that to encompass what I'm doing with my life. Obviously, um. Because I'm meant to do more. I'm meant to do more than that, and I know that I am. So I want to be doing those things too. But it is, gosh, the the balance is difficult to manage. But that's why we have a schedule here, right? That's why we have started showing up here. Like streaming here means I know I'm gonna get in my daily project time, which is glorious. It's something I've really struggled with. So showing up here, you know, builds my presence here. It also means I have um, progress made on like the various things I'm working on. Like it's great. So Dig it. I see for digs. But I was scroll. I was scrolling through, um, I was scrolling through TikTok, and I was bouncing between TikTok and Instagram, and I just, I was just looking at all these people who are making stuff, and I'm like, oh, I want to make cool stuff that people are like scrolling and looking and saying, oh my god, this is so awesome. And then I'm just thinking, you know, you could just do that instead of what you're doing right now. And I'm like, you know, I need you to stop making sense, brain. Okay. Just calm it down. You're doing too much. <laughs> and then I, I talked to a uh, art friend, one of many, um, but Idaho art friend. I'm going to have to tell them that, like, this is your designation in my videos now as art. I don't, I don't art friend. It's going to be really bad if I tell them that. And they're like, I don't live in Idaho. <laughs> and I'd be like, well, that's weird. Um, anyway, I was talking to them and I'm like, do you ever, do you ever like find yourself scrolling and like looking at stuff and saying, oh, wow, I wish I was like making cool stuff. And then you, then you realize how ridiculous you sound because you could in fact be making cool stuff because you do in fact do that and you could do it right now. And they were like, I mean, yeah, not that last part, but yes. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily think the last part either. Um, I get so wrapped up in just saying, oh gosh, I wish that, um, yeah. You know, I just had this kooky banana thought. Um, I have a, I have a friend in Florida who's now in Virginia, and um, like when I met, that's where they were living. I think that's where they're from, but I don't know. Anyway, I digress. And uh, I think they were doing um, part of part of the work that they were doing was um doing like uber or lyft right and i just had this thought given the drastic jump in um gas prices like are all the people who are having to do that like are they okay like are they because i'm really wondering 
I really, I really am. Like, are y'all, are y'all okay? Um, because I know when I put gas in my car to just, you know, do the very little bit of driving that I do, I was, I was like, oh, this is uncomfortable. And I did that. And I, and I filled my tank, I filled my tank up. I filled my tank up because one, that's like my habit now is I just fill my gas tank up. It's not even something that's really feasible. That's why I have to like completely drain my gas tank pretty much. Um, but I thought to myself and I'm like, well, you could put in like a little bit now. And I'm like, well, if you do that, what's going to end up happening is you're going to get down to where you are now in your gas tank right at the end of it. And you're going to freak out like you've been doing all week. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's probably true. And I was like, okay. And then, right, gas is possibly going to be more expensive. So you can buy the same amount that you bought then and it will not last as long. And I'm like, this is a hundred percent true. I'm like, it is a hundred percent true. And I'm like, so what you're saying brain is, um, you should just fill your tank up now because you know, right now it's this and might it be less later? Sure. Might it be more later? Yes. Also. Um, and I was like, well, that does not sound like something I want to take a chance with. But I can't imagine like people who would literally have to drive like for a living and have to like, you know, put gas in their vehicles themselves. That sounds like nightmarish. I bet you people like, cause like, you know, it's funny or it's not funny, but like this hike could absolutely negatively impact, um, like services like that, like the like, devastatingly. So, um, because you know, if people can't afford to drive places, even when they're getting paid to, right? That can't be good. Like, oh, it can't be good. So, I'm like, yeah, no, that sounds, that sounds right. So luckily I actually don't live far from work. Um, which is part of why, despite like me having ish, like some palpable issues with like my workspace and my coworkers and whatnot, um, I am not like willy nilly planning on like ditching this, this gig because it is really close. Like, I don't know that I have ever lived this close to where I work. I do not think so. Like I, I think I've, like I've managed a few times to just, you know, um, not be terribly far sure but as far as like actually legitimately close i think this is a first so as you can see we're making slow progress it doesn't like it never looks like we did a whole lot um at this point i've done four roads i've done as much as i did last night oh no this headache is killer it is not getting better so I'm going to finish these two and then we're going to have to call it good. It should be, we should be right at like an hour by the time I'm done with this.
And I've got this weird scene from Coyote Ugly playing in my head when he sets up the fake audience for her so she can perform her song, Mr. O'Donnell. Uh, he was cute. I liked him. Okay, what is going on here? So it looks like what happened was this. Okay, so I think I want this to happen. We're having a, we're fixing something right now. Because I think what happened is for some reason I did a knit or did a purl instead of a knit there. And so that just made that weird. Luckily, we know how to fix these things. Um, well, it did it there too. Oh. Okay, that. Uh, I think I can fix. But what we're going to have to do. Is okay, so it's not this one that got messed up, it is the one below it. So, what's going to happen is, this is going to go like this, I feel like I'm doing surgery, <laughs> I kind of am, okay. This is tricky, tricky. Okay, so there's that. And then I think we did this. And Okay, so I think is it this that's supposed to go with that? I think it is this one. I think I fixed that right. Okay. So, hmm, uh-oh, uh-oh, so, I think what we're going to have to do now is go and do a little tinking, which tinking is literally knitting backwards. Okay, so next time, next time, friends, 
you got to do that to begin with. Move all these stitches back. Okay. All right. So. This is. I think we can just, yeah, we can go back this one. Oh, we can go that back that one. Okay, so. All right, so I think this is supposed to be here. You're supposed to be. Okay. Oh, wow. I went back farther than I thought I did. Huh. Look at that. That's okay. So that means this over here. That's where that's leading off. And we did this one. And then we did this one. And then this. I think is where we have the mistake is because I think this and this are supposed to be what happened right there. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Um, and then Okay, so now we've got another one where somehow turned into a pearl instead of a knit. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Because am I missing any of these? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. So this one's the one who's going to stay over here. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So, now I've got Bollywood songs playing in my head because I watched, um, what was it, Bride and Prejudice the other day. No one, no one, without one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No lie. Because it's Mr. Coley. That one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's, oh my gosh. I might have to watch that again. Which is the, like, the most ridiculous statement you could hear me say. Because I literally just watched it. Like, I just watched it. It, but I love the Pride of Prejudice. Like, I love Jane Austen. So, like, all the adaptations, I'm here for. Like, every every last one of them. Um, because I'm just... I'm that much of a dweeb about it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How in the world did I manage to jack this... All these stitches up this badly? This is so weird. This is like so weird. Like I do not understand Sam I am. Like at least I know how to fix it, but damn. Like 
What? I messed a bunch of them up. I don't understand. Yeah, like I really do not understand how I manage that. That's so strange. Oh my gosh. Probably because I love the Elizabeth character. Like, all, I always love the Elizabeth character so much. Probably because I identify with her because I am outspoken and... <laughs> I also like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Although that might be my least favorite Mr. Darcy because he's like the least attractive Darcy. Now, to be fair, the uh, Pride and Prejudice with Kira Knightley, uh, she's my least favorite Elizabeth. Even though Mr. Darcy is still pretty damn hot. <sighs> yeah, I know. These, these are the things that I think about. Let's see. Did I jack any of these up? These look like they're fine. Okay, so looks like I just did that in that one. That's good. The Lady Catherine de Berg in Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is great, though. I should get, um, I should read those books, actually. Now that I think about it. Because there's Sense, Sensibility, and Sea Monsters. And I, I wonder, I wonder how that one like how that goes because i love colonel brandon so it looks like this is these are all right here too that's so weird i don't know how that happened it's very strange <sighs> it's fixed though so it's okay Maybe I should have a Bollywood night with friend because friend likes Bollywood too. See, friend liking Bollywood makes sense. And it's not even think, I think friend like, likes musicals, but friend likes Broadway, right? And drag shows and theatrics and i don't hate theatrics like i grew up like you know going to the theater like and seeing ballets and plays and stuff like that like i grew up on that stuff because my mother like insisted that we were cultured to that degree also we i had i had access to thalian hall and you know a lot of times colleges will have like special events and stuff like that um, and we went to a couple like that too. So like, absolutely. Like I appreciate, since funny thing is I didn't not appreciate them as a child, but I definitely appreciate them even more as an adult, having had that opportunity after having met people who didn't grow up with an exposure to the arts like I did. Like for me, that was just normal. And like, I guess while other kids are having parties or sleepovers and going to summer camp, I was 
you know, being exposed to art and science and creative ex pursuits and, you know, getting to visit other parts of like the state that I lived in, um, and learning about like other things like that. Um, so that I definitely would not trade. There's a lot of growing up that I think I could have dealt without like most people, right? Like most people, but I wouldn't trade those enriching experiences. Like I remember seeing Annie. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. That's the only use of that phrase, hard knock life or school of hard knocks, that I don't hate. <laughs> um, so low key, like just random, random things about me. Uh, pet peeves that I see in like dating profiles when someone uh, states that their education was from the school of hard knocks. And I'm like, oh my, like, what? what? <sighs> it hurts. It really does. <laughs> it really does. It's painful to just read that. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, okay, I don't, I have no desire to speak to you now. If, if there was any, it's gone now. I just, there's something about that phrase that just, now I'm good. I'm super, I'm good. It's green, super green. Yeah. Ruby Rod. Corbin Dallas. Lilo Dallas, multipass. Oh my gosh. Chicken. Yeah, that's that's the nineties kid right there. It's coming out. Watch out. Watch out. I also realized that I keep saying I was gonna add more links to my thing here. I also realized that I haven't done that at all. And I, I do apologize. I also need to get back to uploading. I haven't, I haven't made my, um, system for doing videos here and like getting them to YouTube and stuff like, you know, before they expire. Um, and I need to get on that. Okay, so, um, was it Matt Smith, please? Uh, the cousin who is just freaking awful in Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And it's great. And all I can think is uh, when they're going to go to town and he's trying to get them to, to, to come along. It's like, we mustn't be late. She's baking. <laughs> and the first time I heard that, I was like, what? And I was like, oh, oh no, I get it. He means like, she's making, like, she's making food. You need, you need to not be late. I was like, okay. I was so confused. I was like, what in the hell? So... Hmm. Wow. So this is our last round of this section, which means one of the things I need to do is schedule tomorrow 
that I take an updated picture in the morning. I also need to get the pictures that are on my uh, phone already off and upload it to It's coming out. I love how squishy this is. I kind of want to make one with this amount of stitches. So like this stitch count, right? But in a much bigger yarn. I have no use for something that like thick and warm. Um, it doesn't get cold enough to warrant that here. So speaking of boys, I know, right? Right? Um, because you get like weird snapshots of my life because I don't have a life. So when something of note happens, it's worth mentioning. I was talking to a work wife about how I haven't, I haven't heard from like anybody who was in my inbox like over the last couple of weeks and I'm not upset about it. I'm fine. I just think it's funny that just everybody just suddenly bailed and I'm, <sighs> it took it like being a thing for like an entire week for me to even notice. And I said, you know, the reality is like, I'm super busy. I am super busy. I work three jobs, right? I have a personal life. I have little ones, dog, like I have, I have things going on, which isn't to say that I don't actually have time for other people, but I don't actually have time for other people. Like I don't have time to be frivolous with my time. I don't have time to waste. And I'm not saying anybody has time to waste, but I'm definitely not going to allow someone to waste my time. And, uh, so I was, uh, I was like, you know, this is the thing. And like, I know what my schedule like looks like. Like I have an internal kind of idea of what it looks like. Right. But when I say I'm busy, I like, I don't think that people understand what I mean by that and how busy. So I was like, you know what you need to do? You need to mark down <laughs> your work schedule, right? Like on your calendar, right? Over the course of two weeks because, um, I, on like, this is my six day work week. So those work weeks look different than my four day work weeks, right? Like there's some, there's some marked differences. Um, anyway, I'm like, yeah, I should do that. And then like take a screenshot <laughs> of just like what that looks like. Right. And just say, okay, you know, so anybody who wants to, you know, think that they think like complain about my, my like limited availability. I'm like, well, this is what my schedule looks like. So feel free to figure out how to pencil yourself in there 
and not interrupt my schedule. Good luck. Good luck and Godspeed. You're going to need it. Um, I was like, you could do that. I'm like, that would be kind of asinine. And I'm like, it would. However. However. Right. Um, and then I was like tickled pink and purple about it. Cause I'm like, you know, that's kind of hilarious. I'm like, I think you should do that. Also, if you're going to effectively plan, you need to like know what your time commitments are. Like that's like the first thing you need to know if you're going to like set up a good schedule or plan is you need to know what time you actually have available, which means you need to know what time you're not available and like what you're doing during those times so that you can, you know, prioritize like the right stuff. Right. Um, you know, cause that's another thing when it comes to being like a small business owner, it's really easy for people to, um, spend time in ways that aren't particularly constructive because they're, you know, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of maintenance, right? It's a lot of like necessary, but like low level things that you're doing. Um, and you can end up spending like tons of time doing lots of little things like that, which is where the whole, you know, 80, 20 thing gets, I think really thrown in there and like, don't beat you over the head with it. Um, is that there's a lot of stuff that is like, necessary to the running of a business, right? But doesn't actively make you money, but it's not like unimportant. It's not stuff that like doesn't need to be done, but it isn't necessarily stuff that you need to do. Like you could, if you could outsource it, you know, it probably would be like a great idea so that you could focus on the things that like do absolutely needs your specific attention. Um, and I feel like vaguely hanky about even like suggesting outsourcing anything because a lot of, um, kind of business experts or self-proclaimed ones will insist that you should outsource everything. Well, the problem with that is, is if you're outsourcing everything, like, are you actually paying people like a living wage when you're doing that? And if you're not, um, you need to rethink that. Like really. So, um, that's like just, you know, something to think about. So, but then there's me, I don't really want to outsource anything like the stuff, like I'm totally fine doing all the small stuff. I absolutely want to do the larger stuff, which also means I need to take the time, right, to focus on those things, which is why I went ahead and like finally made my new work schedule, like wrote it down. Like it's been my schedule, but I've, I've been really having a really hard time sticking to it. Um, for no other reason than, you know, I come home from the day job and I'm, I'm just tired. And I don't have a lot of bandwidth. And a lot of times it gets used up just, you know, getting home. Like if I just stop anywhere or do anything, that just sucks any of the like extra energy I had out, out, right? So, so speaking of energy all gone, here we have it. Here we have it. Here we have it, y'all. Um, we've gotten to round... 65. I have got 30 more rounds left. So if we look at this, if this is, you know, 65, I've got like another, I don't know, half of this left. It's so squishy. I just want to touch it. Um, anyway, so that's it. That's it. I'm going to go. Um, the headache has not quit. I won't say it's gotten worse, but it hasn't quit. And I need to evaluate what I'm going to be able to do. Um, this, uh, this evening. 
for the rest of the evening if I'm able to do anything and just here sneak peeks so this is the this is that color right this is what the inside looks like this is the other side so what you see is this is the main color and you see the gray is right there and on this side it's the other way around um, and part of why I wanted to do this is because I thought it would just be really fun and I think it's working out so uh, thank you Leadlings for coming in and watching and hope you've enjoyed me rambling and making as usual so long farewell I'll be the same and good night